Hey, I'm Kelsey, creator of the InDesign Field Guide, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add and format text in Adobe InDesign. Let's go. In other programs, you can just click once and start typing, but in InDesign, you have to actually draw a frame or a text box for your text to live inside. To do that, click the Type tool in the left toolbar, or use the shortcut, the letter T, on your keyboard. Click and drag your mouse to draw a frame that your text will live inside, and we're gonna fill this with some placeholder text for now. Don't worry, you're not stuck with the frame size you drew. You can adjust it from any side or from the corners, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Now, the thing to know about InDesign is that there's always multiple ways to do the same thing. So a lot of the buttons and menus that are overwhelming you right now, a lot of them are duplicates. So when you click inside of your text box or highlight any text in your text box, some of your basic character formatting tools are gonna be up here in the top toolbar. If you're not seeing these tools up here or any toolbar at all, you can go to Window, Workspace, and I usually like to set my workspace to Typography. Each of those options kind of bring up some different toolbars, but this is the one that has the tools that I use most frequently. You can also make that same change up in the right corner and selecting from this menu here. So you can make some basic changes up here in the top toolbar, or you can open your character flyout menu. If you're not seeing the character flyout menu over here in your right sidebar with all of these different flyout menus, you can go to Window, Type, and Toggle on Character. Shortcut for that is Command if you're on a Mac or Control on a PC and the letter T. So this menu will work whether you have text highlighted or if you just have your entire frame selected. From here, you can change the weight, you can change the size, you can change the line spacing, character spacing like tracking and kerning, and then a few other options at the bottom. You can also click this corner drop-down menu and get a few additional ways to customize your text as well. We'll turn ours back to a little bit bigger and bolder so you can see this text really well. Another place you can make some changes to your text is with the paragraph flyout menu. If you're not seeing this one over here in your sidebar, you can go back to window, type in tables, and toggle on paragraph right here. This is where you can adjust paragraph settings like justification, you can turn on or off hyphenation, and you can adjust some paragraph spacing and line spacing with these controls here. You can also click the corner of drop down menu and get even more options for customizing like drop caps, adding rules which are horizontal lines, borders and shading, bullets and numbering, and more. And the last thing I want to show you is some resizing options. Now one thing to keep in mind about InDesign is that it treats the frames, the blue line of our text box is the frame, and the content inside of your frame, so the actual text itself, it treats these as two separate parts. So if we were to resize our frame like this, you'll see a lot of our text gets cut off because it doesn't fit inside the frame. The frame was resized, but the text was not. In the same way, if we make our text really large, it'll get cut off because the frame doesn't adjust with the size of our text. So to resize both at the same time, the secret is a shortcut. Hold down Command or Control as you click and drag your text frame to resize both the frame and the text at the same time without anything getting cut off. Again, that's holding down Command if you're on a Mac or Control if you're on a PC, clicking and dragging to resize both the frame and the text at the same time. If you want more Adobe InDesign training, watch my free workshop where I break down the most popular design apps and programs and show you when it's best to use each one. Psst, you can do way more with InDesign than you probably realize. Plus, I'll walk through exactly how to design a PDF worksheet and promo graphic from start to finish using only InDesign. Click that first link in the description below to watch the free workshop right now. Go ahead, click it. You know you want to.